Morning YouTubers, uh, welcome back to Allotment Diggers. Well in this episode we're going to be showing you me doing um, three varieties of sweet corn. I would have loved to have shown you me doing the fourth variety but I've left it in the house so we'll, we'll do that again. But we pretty much do the, 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 the corn all the same way. We've got these 40 cell uh, trays and um, what we do, um, we plant them all out and um, we keep them in the greenhouse until they get yay big then we transplant them into a bigger pot but you've got to be very careful when you're doing that because they have a really deep long tap root and if you start faffing about with it and you damage the tap root well kiss your your sweet gut, sweet corn goodbye um, but you know I've never had any problems doing it the way I do it but um, yeah I thought I'd show you a couple of clips of me doing it now and uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, some corn called lark, some called gold crest, which is poignant because we've got a little gold crest which visits uh, me allotments. Um, you've seen it in videos. And so I, I thought I saw this corn, I thought a gold crest, why not? And um, we're doing the third, there's a third variety which we've got here and it's called rainbow corn. Yeah, rainbow. Now I know it's April, the first today. And. Uh, I'm trying to keep a straight face, but it's straight up, guys. I'm not kidding you. It really is. Um, rainbow corn. The, the kernels are all different colours on the cob. In fact, let me show you the picture. So there you go. So that's what they look like. Now then, I'm going to show you a, a couple of clips of me doing a few, a few trays and um, show you how to do them. My next door neighbour Jack does a bat and um, they come over every 20 minutes and they make a right racket. They're on the feeders at the moment. So I'm going to tell them to sod off and let you run the clip. I'm going to show you the clip so I'll be right back. Hi guys, happy April Fool's Day. Well, today, if you can believe it, of all days, I'm going to be growing my rainbow corn. Yeah, my rainbow corn. Now, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory to be quite honest with you. Um, each of the cobs has different kernels on the, on the cob. In other words, they're all different colours. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, oh, I hope they pull through. Well, who knows? We might be playing an April Fool on you, but uh, no, seriously, guys, <laughs> these are um, these are um, rainbow um, sweet corn. Now, last year I watched someone doing these. What I'm doing now, I'm just putting a few holes into these um, into these stations here. Got forty. We will be doing. You get about 120 seeds there. Like I say, they're all different colours. Yellows, purples, blacks, greens. And, uh, yep. And today, we're going to be doing some of them. So there's, I don't know if you can see that. Purple, green there, yellow, red. And uh, we're just going to pop them in. And... We're going to have a bash at these this year. Even yellow one there. Oh, hang on, they're all yellow, aren't they? Well, no, they should be yellow. Yeah, it's been raining today, but no fear. Um, inside the greenhouse, it's lovely and warm. And uh, I wouldn't be sowing these on a cold day anyway. Oh, did you see missing out on that one there? Let's put that one in there. Yeah, we've got a... We saw these um, last year. It was someone did these on April Fools. I think it was... Um, what Viv did next. I think she was... I think she was doing them. And I looked at them and I thought, Ah, yeah, right, I'm not falling for that one. So I didn't bother. Anyway, later on in the year, she harvested them, and uh, they was they were all different colours. It was amazing. So I've been looking, doing my research, looking about to see if it, 
I was having my leg pulled and no I wasn't so what I've decided to do this year is get some of these and give them a go um, you, you can buy them online I, I bought um, I think there's about 130 odd seeds there 140 seeds and I paid uh, a prince, princely sum of uh, three pound for them, so I think it was it was worth it. I'm just using this dibber to push them in a bit, make sure they come in contact with the bottom of the where I've, where the how far I've, I've poked this in. I want to make uh, sure they've they reach the bottom of the hole. We don't want any voids because if there's a void there, it can can cause all sorts of problems. You know what, guys? Miss one of them out there, just notice. There we go. So I'm just gonna push that one in there. Yeah, April Fool's Day today. We're not doing any of them daft April Fools like we usually do. Uh, no um, making wine, sticking corks in the ground this year. <laughs> That's what we did last year. Uh, anyway, um, this year we'll be more serious about it. But yeah, I thought I was uh, having the wool pulled over my ears when I, eyes when I, over my ears, over my eyes when I saw these for the first time. But no, um, they're genuine, and uh, we've been doing a lot of um, corn sowing corn today. I've probably sold about. 160 of them um, you, you probably realize I haven't got much space on my plot to do 30 of them so we're only doing these ones these multi-colored ones on my plot um, but the rest of them um, we're gonna put them into my brother's plot as soon as he actually um, does something and uh, gives it a good you know digs it over and gets it all all ready um, we're gonna stick these in it and his plot, well not these particular ones, these are going in mine but we will be sticking all the others, there's about 120 and when you're sowing these guys you need to sow them in blocks in fact actually what I will do, I will give him some of these because I just realised I've got 120 of them so we'll do another, we'll do another tray of these uh, and what I'm doing now, I'm just going to go and pat it down, make sure that the seeds are in contact with the soil top and bottom. We're using clover multi purpose compost. So there we go. There's rainbow sweet corn. And here's a picture of what they look like, guys. So, I know what you're going to say. You're going to go, ah, it's April Fool's Day today. But uh, I thought rather than uh, play a fool, uh, play a, a, a fool on you, you know, April Fool on you, uh, we'll tell the truth this year. However, it's how hard it is to believe, but there you go. So, there my rainbow sweet corn, and I've left my buddy lids outside, my propagator lids. So I'm going to have to go out and get one. So I'll be right back. Oops. Shut that door and keep the heat in. As I always do, spray inside the lid. Uh, it will raise the humidity and it will basically turn this into a micro climate inside there. What I will do now is write a label um, saying what they are so I don't mix them up with the others. But uh, yeah, there me rainbow corn. Well, 
the birds are still out there it don't matter what I do they, they're not scared of me and uh, they follow me over from my house um, they actually nest in my next door neighbours chimney I did send to put some um, pots on the top to stop them doing it but he couldn't care less anyway that's where they nest and they follow me over every morning and they follow me back and um, there's a couple of uh, ring neck doves what do the same they live in my tree in my back garden I've got a massive conifer it's about 40 bloody 50 foot tall it's massive and um, it's it, the the backdrop to it is a, a 12 foot ivy fence that's my back guard well big 12 foot um, wall of ivy at the back of it and um, all these birds nest in the trees and in the ivy it's absolutely wonderful and uh, yeah they're down here now making a bloody racket but um, back to the corn um, like I said that's the way I, I, I sow my corn I, um, I use the clover multi-purpose um, you want it nice and warm the compost you want the water nice and warm um, so you don't shot the seeds when you put the water on them and you know warm your seeds up as well and uh, try and grow them in a, it's trying to start them off in a warm greenhouse which this one is however we trans we transferred up the mole down to the middle greenhouse now because it's a lot warmer down there but um yeah that rainbow corn it really is rainbow corn and uh, like i said i do know it's april fool's day today so <laughs> don't be confused i know i've i've tend to play these um these practical jokes from time to time but this is straight up the, that is um it is really uh rainbow comb what you're looking at there uh, I remember last year I did some how to grow wine from corks <laughs> and uh, I, I hope that ain't too fresh in your memories guys <laughs> but it's straightforward yeah I'm sure there's a lot of people out there can confirm along with me that I'm growing this year in fact you don't have to take my word for it you could go over on to what Viv did next um, friend of Sean um, from the Art Channel and uh, you can actually see her um, she did a, a few uh, videos where she sold it it was around about the same time last year and I thought I'm not having none of that but not pulling the wool over my eyes but about three months later on um, there she was harvesting it and um, well, she is, there is a video out there. So if you're interested, um, I don't know if this, this um, shot where I've got them from still has them. But um, I will, if you if you ask, I'll drop, try and drop the link into the, um, into, the, into the messages somewhere. That's if you, you're so inclined to uh, try them. But um, yeah, I know it's April Fool's Day and you know, you can't kid a kid or but it is straight up yep rainbow calm last look at them and uh i'll see you all in the next one guys thanks for watching thanks for leaving your comments and um uh, once again thanks for subscribing to the channel goodbye for now